Let's start. Today we will see how to implement the multi time frame bull bear power indicator in the TradingView Pine script. Let's see the code. This is an indicator function with the name multi time frame bull bear power. First, we take the user input for the higher time frame. The default value is set to the weekly time frame. Then, we take the user input for the length of the indicator. Here we calculate the bull power. For this, we subtract the 13 emma from the high value of a candle. Here we calculate the bear power. For this, we subtract the 13 emma from the low value of a candle. Then we add the two values to calculate the bull bear power. Here we calculate the higher time frame bull bear power. For this, we use the security function. The first argument of this function is the current stock name. The second argument is the higher time frame. The third argument is the bull bear power. The bracket one written in front of it prevents the indicator repainting issue. The last arguments handle the gaps and the bar merge. Here we calculate the color of the power. If the power is rising, we color it green, else we color it red. And finally, we plot the bull bear power line. Let's add this indicator to the chart. As you can see, the green line of the indicator denotes the bull power whereas, the red line denotes the bear power. Currently, we are on the daily chart, and we are seeing the weekly bull bear power. If a user wants, he can change the time frame from the input panel. So that's it. That's how you can implement the multi-time frame bull bear power in the TradingView Pine script. Thank you.